after the very famous World of Tongues released, the World of Warplanes. That was that really that huge success that the developers started working on their new games. His name is World of Warship. With this free to play game, thousands of people playing around the world and if you click on my link at the description below and you download it for free, you would support me and my channel. Thanks everyone who's doing this and thank you for the Wargaming for the sponsorship. Hello guys, welcome everyone on my channel. So today we're gonna play some uh, The Church in the Darkness. So it's actually, it's a really, really weird game. As you can see, um, I already started the game, so it's not, it will be not from the beginning. Uh, so I'm gonna continue. So the, the whole game, it's, the story is that um, your nephew is lost and you need to find him. So, all right, so, um, okay, let's see. For the freedoms America promised us, but which we never really had. At last, here we are free to love our God and love ourselves as America would never let us. We only ask that you love this place. As we love all of you. Okay, so uh, as you can see guys, uh, the, the whole game is from this uh, camera perspective, so you, you can't change in, on, on, uh, in first person or even in uh, third person, so that's, for me, it's really, really weird. Um, I'm so inspired by our children. What they draw in chalk at the playground shows me they are learning from our example. So, they I'll just show you, not uh, this one. So here's a mop, as you can see it's it's quite big. So the point is that your nephew is Alex and your Alex is somewhere here and we are uh, here somewhere so we need to go in there. Um, so here's the objective, so search of wild, uh, wild chapels to find the ch children's location of Teresa, find the key and she may help uh, uh, to find Alex and she me uh, she might be by the river check your map right so I just I just tried to show you you know this game like how does it look like what do you need to expect when you buy it um, so the game is doesn't look so bad uh, in fact it looks looks all right uh, compared with the PlayStation 4 version which is exactly the same like this which is funny um, so Okay, so these are okay. So this is actually. Have we got any? Right. So you need to find weapons and and bullets and everything in a, in a mop, and that's how you can protect yourself. So first things first. That is that is a guy as you can see, it, and that's the way how uh, how far can he uh, look. So we are going in here. Here you can search and you can hide inside as well. Yeah, take all of them. Is there anything else what we could... Okay. Okay. Right. We just have a look first. Uh... Opa. Opa. Let's go man. Okay, so as you can see, it's well, it's not 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 an easy game. In fact, it's really hard, especially if you don't have any weapon against them. How dare they? Thank you, Lord. Okay. The Puritans preach that their shining example would be Boston, but 300 years later, it is instead a corrupt home for fake progressives and powerful elites. A betrayal. No life at all would be better than a life of American hypocrisy. And 
Try to avoid them as much as possible. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, I'm dead. And when you die, this, you're not actually died, you, as you can see, you are in a cage and then you need to sneak out as, uh, as soon as possible. See this one guy. So if I just force to open this now, then I can sneak out this way or what where are we now what as you can see over there we are there fuck fucking hell okay oh my god the pro my problem with this game besides of it's not it's completely not my type that the camera is really too far and you, you pretty much can't see none on the Nintendo Switch screen, which is which is bad. Really, really bad. Alright, so we are here actually we found Alex. He's just he's actually is just here. So we're going there and talk with him. Those alarms were because of you? You've scared people. They're freaking out. You need to go. It's not safe for you here. This town can be beautiful, but let me tell you, I've been in the cages before. Isaac swears it helps to focus us, but fuck that. I didn't come this far to be in a damn cage. I don't know what's going on with Isaac and Rebecca, but I know where they are. I marked them on your map. You talk to them. Right, so as you can see, uh, these guys marked us on the map where do we need to go. There's and problems then, here. Yeah. But can we fix this town? I don't know. Did you ever believe in something? I mean, really. And then have it turn out to be deceit and treachery and just fucked up? Isaac did that to me. Yeah. We gotta go. Okay, so here's another chapter. Is uh, chapter six Exodus. So now the guy is marked us on the map. Where do we need to go? And then he's uh, follow us. Uh, and um, yeah, so the basically, basically the game is like this. So that's pretty much it for this game. Uh, this game is really not my type, but. I just want to show you guys uh, if you buy it, what do you need to expect. Um, do I offer this game for you guys? Well, if you really like this kind of game, uh, then yeah, definitely. It it's, uh, looks alright, it's not a huge deal, but it looks alright and it's running really well on Nintendo Switch. Yeah, so that's, that's all my opinion, that's all for now, if you like it. Definitely give me a thumbs up below and uh, we'll catch you guys later.